Herring are forage fishes, also known as silver darlings or silver of the sea. Herring fish are pelagic, meaning they live in the open sea beyond the low tide mark. Most live in the temperature, shallow waters of the North Pacific and North Atlantic Oceans. They are a major food source as bait fish and for human consumption in recipes with different tastes such as fermented, pickled, smoked, and dried. Some species are vulnerable due to overfishing. The Araucanian, Atlantic, and Pacific species make up 90% of the herrings caught in fisheries. The Atlantic herring makes up over half of all herring capture. A school in the North Atlantic Ocean can reach up to 3 billion fish, with the fish occupying up to 4.8 cubic kilometers with fish densities between 0.5 and 1.0 fish per cubic meter. Herring fish can move up to 10 times their body length per second. Herring fish have excellent hearing. There are 200 species in the family Clupiidae. Some notable species are Araucanian, Clupia bentinki, Pacific, Clupia palisi, Atlantic, Clupia haringus, Baltic, Clupia haringus membres, wolf. Two subspecies, the dorab wolf herring, Chirocentris dorab, and the whitefin wolf herring, Chirocentris nudus, river herring. Two subspecies, the blueback herring, Alosa estivalis, an alewife, Alosa pseudoharingus, herringfish are bright silver with a bluish or greenish back. All species in the family Clupiidae share a soft, single and spineless dorsal fin, small head, protruding lower jaw, and no lateral line, while those in the family Chirocentridae are ray-finned. Their length and weight vary depending on the species. Atlantic species live on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, while Pacific species live in the North Pacific Ocean and Araishian species live off the coast of Chile. Many species are marine, while others are anadromous, such as the blueback and alewife subspecies of river herrings. On the other hand, the toothed river herring or Papuan river sprat, Clupioides papuensis, is a freshwater species. The definition of these fish in terms of diet as a small forage fish or filter feeding fish. They consume many animals that are smaller than them, including various types of zooplankton and phytoplankton. They make up for their small size by forming huge schools and with their excellent hearing, they can quickly react to predators. These fish eat copods, arrowworms, krill, mycids, pteropods, annelids and pelagic amphipods. They also eat other tiny crustaceans and worms, smaller fish, diatoms, tintinids, fish larvae, larval snails, molluscan larvae, and menhaden larvae. The western grebes, common mures, Atlantic puffins, razorbills, Common terns, and arctic terns are some examples of seabirds that depend on these fish. Marine mammals that eat them are dolphins, porpoises, whales, seals, and sea lions, while the predatory fish that eat these fish are sharks, including thresher sharks and spinner sharks, swordfish, sailfish and other billfish, tuna, salmon, striped bass, cod, and halibut. Fishermen catch mostly clupia species. These fish reproduce through spawning. They spawn once a year after reaching sexual maturity at three or four years of age, although at least one Atlantic species spawns every month of the year. Some species are anadromous, meaning they live in saltwater but migrate to freshwater for spawnings, such as the blueback and the alewife. The season and location in which the fish spawns depend on the species. For example, those in Greenland spawn in 0 to 5 meters, 0 to 16 feet, of water, while those in the North Sea spawn at down to 200 meters, 
660 feet, in the fall. Females lay the eggs on the seabed, on rock, stones, gravel, sand, or in algae beds, with the highest survival being in crevices and behind solid structures in order to avoid open exposure to predators. They may lay anywhere from 20,000 to 40,000 eggs depending on their age and size but on average about 30,000. The eggs sink, settle and stick together as well as to any sediment or debris due to their mucus coating. They need continuous microturbulence from wave action or coastal currents to ensure the layers are not too thick with mucus, which would deplete their oxygen and kill them. Their incubation time is 40 days at 3 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 days at 7 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, or 11 days at 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. They die at temperatures above 19 degrees Celsius, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Individual eggs are 1 to 1.4 millimeters. 364ths minus 116th of an inch, in diameter the Pacific thread herring, red eye round herring, and whitehead's round herring make up the remaining 10% of these fish caught in fisheries, and they are not of the Clupia genus. However, all species are important, even the smallest ones. One of its main uses is bait fish. There are also the useful byproducts of fish oil which used as a nutritional supplement, and fish meal, which is used as farm animal feed. However, their most important use is as a food source, with a taste at its most basic described as mild, oily, and flaky. The most common recipes involve them being eaten raw, salted, fermented, dried, pickled, or smoked, with the eggs being valued as a caviar substitute. They are most commonly eaten in Baltic countries and the British Isles. The most popular example of fermented herring is the Swedish surströmming, which has been traditional since the 16th century. It uses Baltic fish, which is lightly salted and fermented for six months before being canned. A newly opened can is said to have one of the most putrid smells in the world.